What up, what up? Welcome back to another vlog. We're back home. I'm excited. I love this thing. Uh, I got so excited that I actually washed it already. Um, I didn't do a good job, or maybe it just needs two washes because there's still crap all over it, but damn. She is a nice looking car. See, so there's like this little stuff, dirt still. I thought the paint slash uh, blend job was uh, going to get to me a lot more than it did. I actually showed a couple people the new car and they didn't even notice it. I told them and then they noticed it, but you can really feel it. Like it goes from glossy to like scratchy, but it's not too big of a deal. Like I said, I plan to wrap it um, or paint it, you know, whatever is closer to the budget around the time. I did zip tie this thing, um, but it broke off when I was driving. I think I'm just gonna have to put some holes right here uh, just so I can hold it up. It looks so ugly right now. For the deal I got it for, I was expecting a lot worse. This thing is amazing. Uh, I already got insurance on it, and it's so crazy because the last time I had a 370Z, my insurance was through the roof. Um, I got this one, and since my ticket is off my record, it went down. So I'm stoked. I also turned 21 next month and then my insurance is gonna go down again. That is another thing to be stoked for. The homie Drift Duty actually came and picked up the coilovers that I had. Um, I had the Skyline coilovers. I actually traded it to the guy who bought the Skyline and he gave me some brand new Z32 BR coilovers. So I traded my used coilovers for brand new coilovers. I hit up my homie Drift Duty. He has a Z32 with a VQ35 in it. Um, it's super sick. Go check his build out. His thing's awesome. He also has a FRS. That's when I met him. He was drifting an FRS. Now he has a VQ Z32 and he's really going all out with that. It's looking really good. So. Yeah, go check them out. Uh, these are for sale. If anybody wants them with the brand new tires on them, I'll sell them for $900. Um, I think that's a good deal. Got some minor curbing right here. Uh, but yeah, still an amazing set with good specs. Also still have these sitting around. These are the Work Euro Line N2s, um, 18 inches. These will go for... I'll sell these for $300 just because I just want to get rid of them. If you're in the Pacific Northwest, let me know. And cop some wheels good deals so after our thousand mile trip i'm excited to say that i'm finally changing the oil so let's get this thing jacked up it'll give me a good chance to look under there i didn't really get to look under there when i bought it so jacked up get the oil drained start putting the new oil in all right under the z surprisingly this car has not any rust i can see considering that it is a hawaii car uh, I thought it was going to have a lot more rust. I'm going to get this 14 millimeter bolt off the oil pan, which is good. This oil pan isn't crunched in. My last one was fully crunched in. Uh, one thing that does look a little weird is that you can see right there, got some coolant right there. Got to figure out what that's coming from. But let's crack off this bolt, get the old oil draining, and get the new stuff in. Oh, oh she's dark. Look at that. That's some dark fluid. First bad sign, previous owner had a Fram on it. No good, gotta get that good old Bosch on there. It's weird, these oil filters are so tiny. All right, we got everything tightened down there. I got my choice of oil, Mobile One 530. Mobile One has never left me hanging or let me down. It's also used by the NASCAR guys. So you know this, this should be good. I think she's ready to be started up. Yeah. It sounds so good, I can't wait to throw a 10 inch straight pipe on this bit and have it ruin every one of these guys day. Oil change is done. Uh, I do want to clean up this engine bay, but um, it doesn't have the front fender wells anyways, so whatever I'm driving over is gonna get up in here anyways. Um, but yeah, a little, bit of, a little bit of cleaning will help. So the car's windows are tinted. 
um, just the front quarter panel looking window and then the back but my question is how do you guys like it um, I actually think it's kind of cool it's kind of like that sunglasses look Chris Rudnick style sunglasses but comment down below if you guys like the tint or if I should change it up go clear windows or just go a different tint all right, so now that the oil change is done, I get to tell you guys this crazy story that happened while we were in LA. Unfortunately, if you guys watched the last video, I explained it in the video yesterday, but my mic was unplugged or turned off um, like a quarter of the footage that I had, so I didn't even want to use it. I decided that I'm just going to make today's video about it, tell you guys the story, because it was pretty crazy. I've never dealt with anything like that before. So first things first, we landed in San Diego. We took the hour Uber to buy the car. I bought the car, and then we drove to Anaheim, California. So it's kind of in LA, or I think, yeah, it's, it's in LA. It's just Southern LA. Uh, we wanted to just stay in like a good spot to where we could sleep and not have to worry about anybody breaking into our cars. But it was only like 11.30, 12 p.m. And when we got there, we got to the Walmart parking lot. We were about to fall asleep. Uh, we were just chilling and we decided, you know, why don't we just drive an extra two hours to Venice Beach. Uh, we wanted to be there anyway. We want to go to the skate park. So we might as well just go drive there tonight. So we started the car. We drove to Venice Beach. Uh, the whole time we were there we were lime scootering around uh, it was so much fun we were out till like 4 a.m. just lime scootering everywhere around Venice Beach we got to see every little cook and cranny of Venice Beach we even went to the end of the pier apparently our scooters couldn't even go on the pier but the security guys didn't even care so thanks to you guys so after we we're done scootering we're tired it's like 4 20 p.m. we want to leave the area because we were literally in prime time Venice we were parked right on the street you could literally see the pier from right there and uh, we just wanted to go to a better spot so I drove like four blocks down I still wanted to be in like a populated area obviously the whole LA was gonna be populated but I just wanted to be where people would be up you know just in case anything happens we drive in this neighborhood I find a spot right along the curb and I park Magnus actually climbs in the back of the 370 and sleeps in the hatch so he's not asleep yet but he's like almost getting asleep I decide to grab my backpack and put it in the windshield but I put it there just because there was a light right above us a street light and it was shining in my face and I just can't have that so I put my backpack right there right above the steering wheel and I was trying to get to bed I put my hoodie on put it over my eyes and I was laying in my seat like this uh, I had the window cracked about this much because I wanted some air in there uh, we're obviously sleeping in there and I didn't want it to get super hot and muggy and nasty so I'm just getting ready to bed I'm getting in my position I close my eyes and about 45 seconds after I close my eyes I'm just you know thinking crazy stuff uh, I hear a little tiny scrape of a foot just like and my windows are slightly tinted I look up and there's just some guy walking to my car and I see him just slowly walking and he's about like five feet away he's right there I'm looking at him I thought he was looking at me but he couldn't see me through the window he's probably on some crazy drugs he just shoots his hand into my window going for my lock and I say hey and then he grabs his hand out and he's looking at me like oh and he stands there for a second then he just turns around and then just starts speed walking the other way I'm like Magnus did you just see that and he pops his little head out and he's like what happened I was like dude some guy just reached his hand into my window right by my face like I was my sleeping right here on my chair he reaches in right here I didn't know what the f he was doing at first I thought he was actually trying to like shake my hand or something but then I slowly realized that he was going for my lock button he was trying to get in my car maybe he was trying to steal it I don't know it looked like he was just walking around the area trying to just break into cars trying to steal whatever he can steal feel dumb but at the same time I understand these guys are tweakers they're in a populated area where people are parking their cars and I somehow what have a nice car and you know windows cracked backpack on the dash you know it's just begging to get something stolen out of it so yeah that's what happened another scary thing happened later uh, the next day we are actually staying at the San Francisco I mentioned that our hotel was haunted and I also explained it but like I said the mic was broken so I guess I'll explain it in today's video so we check into our hotel in San Francisco we're there for like 30 minutes kicking it playing Nintendo we decide to leave and then go you know check out the city for a little bit we come back we had a swisher on the table Magnus is swisher um, he decided to go back downstairs to grab something from the car I remember seeing the swisher on top of the table I turn around because my pizza rolls went ding and I walk over to the pizza roll thing and then I just turn around and the swisher was moved from the table to the chair and I swear to God I put this on my mama I did not touch it I was literally looking at it before he walked out of the room and 
it moved perfectly. It didn't spill none of the tobacco out of it to the seat. It was really weird. I can't explain it. I tried to like throw my pizza rolls like down to see if it would like make such a, an air movement to push it off the table. Uh, I tried slamming the door of the hotel to see if it would make air movement. The AC wasn't on, the window wasn't open. It was just some weird paranormal activity. That was super weird. I was perjoggled for the rest of the night. Um, later that night, we were looking outside the window at the crackheads fighting, and there was police officers there, and I was rubbing my head in the drapes of the stuff because I was just trying to, you know, snoop around, and um, there was just a brown stain, and I was like, what the f***? The third crazy thing that happened in the San Francisco hotel that was kind of haunting, um, I was just about to order some chicken wings uh, from Uber Eats, the delivery time was over an hour. I was tripping out, so I was like, no, I canceled it, and then I just tried to go to bed. I fall asleep, and I wake up, and this whole ear feels like it was stretched, like fully stretched, almost like I got, I'm talking like fully stretched. I can't like think of an example of, I never had a weird feeling like that before. It's so weird, like somebody stuck something in my ear, and I don't know if it was a ghost or something, but my ear was stretched. Uh, there was no way I could like, fold it up and then sleep on a folded ear. It, it didn't feel like that. It felt like I, I, I've slept on my ear wrong and it was just a different feeling. It was like somebody stuck something in my ear. But I think that's going to be it for today guys. I hope you guys liked this video. It wasn't a long one, um, but I wanted to tell you guys those stories. I wanted to change the oil. That's all I had to do today. So I have huge plans for the 370Z. Oh, I'm not getting rid of this one. I love this car. I know I say it every time, but this time I do love this car. It's got such low miles, I could literally drift it for millions of years. Comment down below if you guys have any recommendations on the 370, whatever you guys think. If it's a wing, body kit, paint color, anything, comment down below. I read every single comment, and if it is cool enough, I might actually do it to the 370. So peace out, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the sun while it is here, if you guys still have sun. Um, I'm seeing that some places are already snowing, so that's crazy. Uh, it's going to be fun when it's snowing over here because I'll be like... Peace.